Uh, hey, everybody. I think this is the first episode of a brand new series. We're going to start doing uh, do wild things like uh, out of the box thinking, like like talking about tools. Uh, so like today we're going to start with like an unboxing video and testing video. Uh, but we'll probably be talking about like a lot of antique tools and my favorite tools and, and just uh, different tools that interest me. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be uh, the radius and ball turning attachment for uh, Proxon mini lathes. Uh, this is yonder box. Um, we'll get it out, we'll look at what it comes with, and we'll go ahead and test it. Uh, this video might be a little bit niche, because this is the one that's specifically for the Proxon lathe. I'm sure you can fit it on any lathe if you're willing to make an adapter. Uh, but of course it's designed to bolt right onto the Proxon mini lathes. A manual, how exciting. It is nice, you know, it is nice to get a tool that still comes in a wooden box. Uh, there was a time where the ultimate sign of quality was getting uh, like like a moleskin box with purple purple velvet in it, you know. And you don't really see that anymore. Uh, so here we got some hardware. I see some T nuts and some different screws. Uh, it does come with uh, you know the neutral tool. Uh, and then after that, we get you know a nice clamp. Uh, it swings on this axis. This will clamp to the uh, to the tool post. And it uh, looks like, so you can mount it in this forward position and you're going to get inside radiuses. And you can unscrew it and move it to these back two screws and you'll get outside radiuses. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and try both of those. Uh, yeah, you know, this uh, was about 120 bucks at the time I bought it. Um, you can get like one that fits into your tool post. That's like, I think maybe 80 bucks or something. They're, they're little imports. And, you know, they don't look super rigid. And also, you know, if you got a post it in, if you got to clamp it into your tool post, that means you're always going to be working around your tool post and planning, swinging, swinging your radiuses around the tool post. And uh, I just don't want to deal with that. You know, this thing is uh, just uh, nothing to work around then. This is, you know, this is what you got. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go throw it on the lathe and, uh, and play with it. Okay, so uh, the manual in figure three here shows it off to the side, and I set it up like that, and I found that I had to get, like, stupid close to the chuck to try and make that work. Uh, so I did set it up the long way. Uh, I, mean, I mean, you can rotate it anyway, and the manual doesn't say not to do this. I certainly didn't like the way it said to do it. Let's get a little closer here. So uh, I have a piece here uh, that I just kind of pre-turned, 6061 aluminum. And um, I didn't, uh, you know, I roughed out a channel so we could do kind of a ball head and then maybe we'll do, uh, you know, an inside radius here and make kind of a, a chest pawn or something like that and uh, just see how it goes. I didn't really do any proper measurements as far as uh, how we're going to lay out this head. Um, I did uh, mark, I measured the diameter and I measured back the radius and I marked that out. Trust me, if you felt that finish, you wouldn't be thinking what you're thinking right now. Okay, so I'd say this uh, this first pass is a, is a fail for my layout technique, uh, but a pass for the tool. I, I think we got a decent radius. Uh, the finish is a little rough. Every pass, you end up cleaning this plate off because your chips get caught in there and then you can't swing it anymore. Uh, so those two plates being so close together is kind of problematic for how fast you expect this thing to move. Okay, so that actually that came out pretty nice, and actually I got a much better finish in that. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, think things have happened, you know. But yeah, I got a much better finish in, in the neck area here, and uh, you know, as I look at the shape, I start to wonder why I'm making this a video. Okay, everybody, I think that's where we're going to wrap up this unboxing review video here uh, with a conclusion. And, uh, you know, as a conclusion, I would basically categorize this where I generally end up categorizing Proxon tools. Uh, and that's their fun, and uh, they have some interesting German engineering. Uh, I never think their designs are perfect. And you also have to remember that these really are targeted at the modeling community. And, uh, you, you know, when you get into heavy machining, they're, they're, they end up lacking horsepower. As you can see, that the chest piece we made came out pretty good after just a very small amount of sanding. Uh, I swear this is a chest piece. I'm feeling weirder and weirder about making this at home on a Saturday night alone.